Hi, I am Becca with Miss Frog Teaches. And did you know that math is a language? It's right, I know. So just the same way that we use letters, we combine letters to create words, like F-R-O-G, P-A-D, B-U-G, make the words frog, pad, and bug. And then we put those words together to create a sentence. The frog sat on the pad and saw a bug. So think about punctuation. So punctuation creates meaning with the words. So we can also use commas in this, for example, of the frog, a bug, and a pad are in the pond. So in the same way, we use numbers to represent how many things. So like in this picture, we have one frog, two lily pads, three bugs. And then we use symbols, math symbols are similar to punctuation. They show the relationship between the numbers, just like punctuation shows the relationship between the words in the sentence. So for example, a math sentence explains how many things are in a pond. One frog, and two bugs, or three things in the pond. For a math sentence, that would be one plus two equals three. Now let's talk a little bit about this equal sign. What does it actually mean? Well, this symbol shows that things on either side of the equal side uh, of the equal sign are the same, are the same, are the same amount. So let's think about two frogs on a log. We have a frog on one side and a frog on the other side. Well, one frog is equal to or the same as one frog. Now what happens if we have more than one frog on a log? We have three frogs. Well, it's not even, it's not equal. How do we show that relationship? Well, if we have one frog on one side and two frogs on the other, we would say one is less than two. Let's say that they all hop around on the log and change position. And now we've got two frogs on one side and one frog on the other. Well, two, is greater than one. So in moving on and thinking about different math symbols, how do we tell the story about two frogs that sat on a log in a pond? And there are three logs, two frogs on each log. Well, we can say two groups, three groups of two frogs is six frogs in a pond. So that would be, if we use a math sentence, three times two equals, or is the same as six. Now thinking about, we've talked about addition, we've talked about equals, we've got, talked about greater than and less than. What do we do if we know we have 10 frogs in a pond, but we only have two logs? How, what kind of sentence? How do we figure that out? Well, we would divide. We would use the divide symbol to show the relationship between 10 and 2. We would have two logs hold five frogs. 10 divided by 2 equals 5, or is the same as 5. So it's really important to understand math, the language of math, and it's a foundational concept for all math that you will meet in your whole entire life. Whether it's basic math, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or all the way up to calculus and physics. So I hope you've learned something fun about math today, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.